Hello, look at my no computer here. This is the third episode of how to build a modular synthesizer from the ground up. This is following on from tackling the case and the power supply, as well as a module that is an oscillator that buzzes in tune. So today, we're gonna have a go at building a filter. So what's a filter, you ask? Well, actually, it's quite simple. Imagine there's a noise. Well, we're gonna filter parts of that out. I'm gonna filter out the top end of it. There we go, we've built a filter. That's the end of the video, thanks a lot. See you later. Haha, <laughs> I'm pulling on your dog's todger. There's still a lot of soldering to do. So to start, the first ever synthesizer that I got was a broken Korg MS-10 from eBay. And after a lengthy process of making it work, I was pretty blown away by how it sounded. <laughs> Most of that is thanks to the filter. Ooh, lovely. Around this time, I really fancied having a Korg MS-20, which is the Korg MS-10's bigger brother, but they were a little bit too expensive. So my next logical step was, I'm gonna try and build one. And this rather dusty thing is what I ended up with. You could sort of see the similarity, I guess. It's kind of like the MS-20's delinquent sibling that the MS-20 pretends it doesn't really know. Sadly, this machine has been gutted for parts, which in hindsight, I really regret doing. But you never know, one day, I might fill it up with wires again. So the first part I actually built was the filter. What I did is I went on my mate's computer and typed in MS-20 DIY filter and pressed enter. I then stumbled across a forum thread that had the MS-20 filter on a stripboard layout which was designed by a fella called Clactronics and yeah, I set about building it. It was pretty tough but a necessary learning curve nonetheless. This isn't the actual one, I kind of built this after because the one I actually built was absolutely god awful. The Clactronics stripboard layout was based on the Rene Schmidt MS-20 filter schematic. I've used both this layout and the MS-20 filter schematic and I've tried to work on something a little bit more straightforward. So this, woo, is the stripboard layout I've made. Let's get building! Right, first thing, let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. Then we need to get a sharpie and start drawing out where you want to put those holes for those components. And then obviously measure out the mounting holes for the strip board because you don't want to be left with a wiggly wiggly strip board now, do you? Next step is getting on with the pilot holes. These are little tiny holes that don't ruin the panels. And then you go for the big bigs. You go drill, drill, and then peel. Peel off its skin and sand its insides and watch it scream. And then you need to clean it before you paint it because you really want the paint to adhere to its surface. Now time for my favourite bit, the doodle! You can paint whatever the hell you want here, you're the artist, be Van Gogh, whatever! <laughs> now put it aside and get out the strip board, we're gonna start with the circuit. You gotta measure out all the holes that you're gonna be cutting under the IC boards, and while you're there, why not paint it, you know, whatever. And then, you start soldering down, starting with the IC chips. You gotta make sure that they're all nicely soldered in, so you're never gonna have a broken solder joint. Now it's time to draw some landmarks, so you kinda know where you are when you're putting all the components in and then you start with the capacitors start on the inside and then start working outwards so we got the capacitors down now it's time to the jumper cables you go for the greens the reds the blues the blacks but use whatever wire you want as long as it conducts it's fine by me now don't be shy get onto those resistors to be honest they could be any type of resistor it doesn't really matter as long as the values are sort of close enough you know you know just expect a little bit of a difference in the sound whatever and you know if it's slightly different nobody else is gonna have a filter like it anyway so it's yours and yours only, lovely, lovely, jubbly. And now it's time to pop in the transistors and all the little bits of components that are around the transistors that you kind of leave to last because it's like a, a weird growth on the side of the schematic. Lovely, look at that, beautiful. Now it's time to add all of the little wires that are coming off and going onto the components that are actually on the metal panel. So what we need to do next is we need to get out the panel and start putting on those components for the wires to go onto. Be careful now, you don't want to scratch your lovely piece of artwork and paintwork, so just be careful here. Uh, now you've got to super glue in the LEDs. One with a long leg on the bottom and one with a short leg. It's got to be opposite if you know what I mean. Now it's time for the standoff pins. These are for putting the strip board on to kind of solidify it and look lovely. Oh, look at those lovely shiny knobs. Now we're going to solder all of the wires from the strip board over onto the panel. And make sure that everything is grounded. You know, the black wires should be connected to all the black wires unless you've got a metal panel because the metal panel kind of connects it all together. And then after that, you know, look at that. I've just been waffling and look it's already bloody done I've just got to pull on the power connector put a little white stripe so I don't put it on the wrong way and look at that it's done oh my god it's finished Woo, look
Look at that! It's done! As if by magic! Well, I don't know whether it works yet, so let's plug it into its designated hole. Right, I've just plugged an oscillator into its input, and then the output over to the speaker. Let's see if it works. Damn straight, that's a filter, all right. Turn up the resonance, maybe. Ooh. Right, let's add another jack, which is coming from an envelope generator. Let's plug that into the control voltage input, which is the other jack on the front panel of this filter. Let's plug it in. Now let's turn up the control voltage level. Sounds like a filter, all right. So what happens if we plug the oscillators that were in the audio input instead into the CV input? Let's give that a go, see what happens. Let's turn it up, ooh, ooh. Ooh, sounds space age. So I hope that was filtery enough for you. I actually built one of these on a builder's live stream earlier this week from start to finish completely unedited and that's up on the Patreon if you're interested. There's also a lot of information on how to build this, the case and the oscillator over on my website and yeah, if you build this, best of luck to you. I've been Look Mum No Computer, don't forget to subscribe and all that just just and don't be scared to try it.